Hi guys, Tis here. Welcome back to a tutorial video that will show you how to make detailed suburbs without using props that will count towards the prop limit. So this is especially useful if you're making a large detailed city and you want to have as, as little amount of props as possible and you still want to have large suburbs. So yeah, and uh, if you wonder which mods I'm using and which uh, like assets and fences and stuff I'm using in this video, they will all be linked in a collection down below in the description. So go and check that out, download all the stuff and uh, just make, make it a lot easier to create these uh, custom made buildings. So yeah, without further ado, make sure to leave a like if you think the tutorial is uh, helpful and uh, let's get into it. So one thing to keep in mind when you use the asset creator is to not have many mods and assets at all. You want to keep as few assets and mods as possible. So that's why I put together the collection uh, down below so you know like pretty much how many you can use. You could probably use more than that but try to keep like even less than what I put together because you'll you get really bad FPS if you have uh, more mods and assets and the whole asset creator will be really slow so just keep that in mind. So when you pick the assets you want to use um, and also uncheck the load existing props and decorations, you can just pretty much start detailing um, and you also have to, just one thing before you start, uh, you might have to change the tiles, um, not sure how it is for the building you're using of course, uh, but I know I have to change this one to like to three here instead of two, uh, because otherwise it makes it really weird when you place a road next to it. Um, so make sure to just try a little bit and um, you'll probably figure it out and uh, yeah after that you'll pretty much just have to put on some some detailing uh, just do it however you want I usually just use like fences around um, I, I try to go with pretty simple detailing because um, you won't really see like that much I just place some fences and you should do uh, some detailing back here with maybe some um, chairs and like a barbecue or something um, and um, as you can see up here you only you're only able to use 64 props uh, here but that is definitely enough for like one building and um, they won't count towards the prop limits when you use them in game uh, which is why this method is really useful um, if you're building a large detailed city um, Also one other thing is that you have to when you place these fences You have to make sure to have them inside of these highlighted tiles Because uh, otherwise they might not show up when you place them in your save game So that's a really important thing to um, keep in mind when you do this type of detailing and uh, Right now I don't have any custom trees, uh, but I definitely <laughs> recommend you downloading some some custom ones because these vanilla ones don't look good at all yeah so I usually place like one or two th trees um, I usually don't place more because that kind of looks weird but um, like as I said before it's it's totally up to you you can do it however you want um, but uh, then I usually go go ahead and place some uh, some chairs uh, which you'll find here so when you're done detailing your billing uh, what you do is uh, maybe just uh, play around a little bit here and change some settings but I usually just leave leave this as it is uh, but when you've done that you can go into this one and save assets and uh, then just name it something that you'll remember because you have to you have to search for it uh, when you're in game so make sure to do that you can also change the tooltip image this is just basic asset creator stuff so um, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you already know this stuff, how to do this, but just want to be extra clear um, on how to save it. So yeah, and then just click save. I usually only use my buildings for the Ploptic Robles mod, so I place every single one of them by hand. Uh, you can also zone them, uh, but you have to use the Building Themes mod and create uh, your own building theme. You can also download the asset item class changer, which obviously allows you to change the item class on your asset. So that's a pretty useful mod as well. I'll leave that in the description. And uh, then you should be able to just zone, zone them. And um, yeah, so uh, just depends on how you want to do it. I usually just plot them by hand. 
So hopefully you find this tutorial helpful. It was actually Press that told me about this method and uh, I think he heard it from uh, Biswigglehausen too. So I'll leave both those guys um, channels in the description. You should definitely go check them out because um, I didn't com come up with this method. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And uh, until next time, have a great day and bye-bye.